check on it. People who have never done a mail-in ballot, I'm going to show you why it's so easy. Well, you fill out an envelope like this. You put your, usually in, in New York, it would be your, your assembly district and the, and the precinct in which you're voting. You fill out your name and your address, and you sign it. You then use an inner envelope, and you put the ballot inside the inner envelope. You seal it all, and you send it in. When it's being, when it's being counted, almost invariably in the United States, up until the mass cheating that went on in this election, a Republican and a Democrat inspector, as well as others, if there are other parties, is allowed to watch the unsealing of this ballot. It used to go on all over America when we conducted honest elections. Because the only time you can ever find out if it's a fraudulent ballot is when it is looked at. The minute you approve this, it's thrown away, gone for eternity. The only thing left is the vote. That could have been Mickey Mouse. That could have been a dead person. That could have been not filled out properly. That could have been the same person 30 times. That could have been, and all these things have happened, by the way. That could have been um, nothing filled out. We'd never know. So for example, the recount being done in Georgia will tell us nothing because these fraudulent ballots <laughs> will just be counted again because they wouldn't supply the signatures to match the ballots. So it means nothing to have counted these ballots because, for example, in Pennsylvania, where we have probably our most precise evidence, 682,770 of these ballots were cast, put in, and they weren't inspected, which renders them uh, ballots that are null and void, cannot be counted, have to be removed from the, from the vote. 